This is Georgie. Welcome to Georgie's Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? Hope everyone's doing well. Have a nice week. Have a nice week. Have a nice weekend. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, today we're gonna do. Uh, if you watched my last couple, of, well, a couple of weeks ago, I did uh, my favorite debut albums of the seventies, and I did debut albums of the eighties. And I was like, I wonder if I can do the nineties or not. But I decided I'm doing the nineties. So I'm doing my ten favorite debut albums from the nineties. Plus, I got three honorable mentions. So. Um, I, you know, again, hope you guys like this. Hope you guys got, you know, there's so many, again, so many bands, a lot of death metal this time, of year, this, this stuff, and, uh, of course, all the grunge movement. I got a couple things for that, too, just for honorable mentions and stuff, but anyway, let's go on. I got three honorable mentions for the, uh, 90s. First one is from 98, it's Witchery, the, um, God damn it, Restless and Dead. Pretty damn good album. They're still around, I think. But this is the debut. I like this one. That's an honorable mention. Next one, I had to mention Pearl Jam. 10, that's from 90, uh, what's it from 91, I believe. It's a good, it's like, I'm not a big Pearl Jam fan. I have a couple albums, but this one's, it's, it's a good album. It's a 10, because it's, it's a good album. So that's my honorable mention. My last honorable mention is from 95, and it's, um, it's Foo Fighters debut. Huge band now. This is the debut. I liked a lot of songs on this one. Really, it was a good album. So there's my honorable mentions for, uh, 1990s. All right, so get on with the list here. Not particular anymore, but they're kind of in order. Number ten is from 19. Um, I forgot to write the date. Hold on, from 1990. Looks like 95 or 96, and that's a debut album from uh, Grip Incorporated, Dave Lombardo's band. It's also got Gus Chambers. Um, let me write the names in here. Upside down. Wildemar, Sriracha, and Jason. Vibrix, really good debut from Grip Inc. He only did a few, like four albums, three or four albums, something like that. Um, but this was great. Savage Seas, Hostage to Heaven is top notch. Monsters Among Us, Guilty of Innocence, Ostracize is another great song. Great, um, great debut from uh, Grip Inc. Incorporated. So there's, there's number 10. Number nine is a debut from this uh, doom metal band, and it's from uh. 1990, Solitude Eternus. Really good stuff. Really good stuff there. Um, what's the name? The singer. Um, oh man, now I can forget his name. Why do I forget his name when I get on here? Let me make sure. Um, oh my God, I forgot his name. Why did I forget his name? He's well, he was singing for um, Candlemas for a few years. So really, really good. Um. Oh my god, hold on, because I'm going to kill me here. I, every time I get on these videos, guys, I just forget shit all the time. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Robert Lowe. That should know from Rob Lowe. It just have it sounds like Robert Lowe. But really good um, doom metal. Really good band. Top-notch debut. Um, so our songs go... Again, this is terrible when they put the red on the paper. But, um, Dawn of uh, Dawn of Inquity. It's just an intro, but um, Transcending Sentinels, Dream of Im Immortality, Destiny Falls to Ruin, White Ship, great stuff. You need to do metal. You don't know this band, check them out. Great debut. So that's on there. Number eight is another, I don't even know how to categorize it. I guess you call it kind of rap metal, but it's really not to me. But um, Rage Against the Machine, which came out in uh, 92. It's a big album. It's a good album. It's really good. I like the I like the album. I'm not into that whole that rap rock shit, but they do it so well. Tom Morello's a great guitar player. Um, bomb track, killing the name of you know that one. Bullet in the head is it's a great song. Um, Freedom, great great stuff. Really good album for the '90s. So it's on my list because that's a really good one. Um, number seven is the debut from this band, Ice Earth, and that came out in 19. Uh, 91. Good debut. Not a great debut, but a, but a good, solid debut. John Schaefer really had his, uh, had a great riffs even back then. Different singer for this one. Um, this one had, uh, Gene Adam, the only album he played on when Iced Earth. But this one's got the uh, title track, Iced Earth, with the, when they were together. You know what happened with that shit. Um, they played it all the time. Colors is a great song. Curse the Sky. Great, great songs. When the Night Falls. Great debut from Ice Earth. I like the original cover better. I have the um, other cover inside, but this one. But uh, I like the original cover better. So, there you go. 
that is my uh, number seven. Number six is another that I never consider too much of a grunge band. They're more they're more metal in a way, and they open they did the opening for um, uh, Thrash the Titans. So and that's Allison Chain's debut. Really going facelift. This was a ninety uh, nine ninety ninety. There you go. And really good. I mean, it was just a good. It was a good debut. It's a, it a really good band. It's still a good band to this day. Um, of course, without the late Lane Staley, rest in peace to Ling. Um, we Die Young, Man in the Box, of course. Um, Bleed the Freak, Put You Down, Confusion, Real Thing. Good, 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 solid debut from the House of Chains. Anyway, that's my number six, number five. This is one I show a lot. But this is from 1991, a debut from Typo Negative. It's just a great, great album. You're there on the back there. Um, there's so many long songs on this one, but the first one, Unsuccessfully Coping with the Natural Beauty of Infidelity. Such a great song. It really is a good song. Um, Zero Tolerance, Prelude to Agony. Great stuff. Long songs, but they don't feel long. But more in the name of, the, of his carnivore days with Peter Steele. Again, rest in peace, Peter Steele. Too many rock stars are dying here. And this is too many years ago. But really good album. Typo Negative. Great stuff. There you go. Great debut. Um, number four is another band. How do you categorize them? I mean, I don't know. They used to put them on, on Headbangers Ball. But they really didn't belong at Headbangers Ball. But I guess they didn't belong in that whole hair thing. But it was Black Crows. Shake Your Money Maker. Excellent debut. Great bluesy stuff. Um, the Robinson brothers did a nice job. Chris Robinson is a great, uh, you know, singer. Twice as hard, jealous again, sister luck. Hard to handle, thick and thin. She talked to angels. Such a great, it's just a great, great album here. I mean, I can't say much more about it. It's just, it's a, it's a classic too. Always put out good stuff though. Love the Black Rose though. So there you go. That's my number four. Number three. Maybe surprised on this one because they only have two albums, but it's a debut, and it's when the the metal god left his his uh, band and formed Fight War Words from 1993. This is a great. I took Scott Travis with him and um on this on the album and Into the Pit, Nailed to the Gun, Immortal Sin, War of Words. Uh, Kill it, vicious. Oh my God, great, it's really good stuff. Just more. Different kind of metal, more Pantera-like, but really, really good stuff, though. Fight is a great album. Number two. This is a surprise, number two, but I really love this album. And the band got still going strong here. May not be a band no one heard too much about, but I love them. I love debut. Brainstorm. Hungry. Really, really good. Just power metal kind of heavy metal stuff. Just regular great stuff like that. Just great. Um, Nails in My Hands. King of Fools. Innocent Until Caught. Liar's Edge. Welcome to the Dark Side. Excellent. You don't know this band either. This album. Check it out. It's really, really good stuff. And the next number one is a tie for number one. Now, the only reason they did a tie for this one is because it's um, the same singer. And I wasn't going to do that, but I had to put both of them on here. So I decided to tie it. So, first one to go is with the, is with the album that's before it, which is from 1990, which is Cannibal Corpse. Um, what do you call it? God. Eating back to life. I tell you, go work, work and do these videos, and you just screw up. But it's a classic, and um, Chris Barnes does a great job. It doesn't sound like Chris Barnes too much. It's a very thrashy sound of the album. Um, but shredded humans, put them to deaths. Um, scattered remains, splattered brains, bloody chunks, skull full of maggots. Great stuff. Great debut. And it had to go with his debut for the uh, Six Feet Under, which was 1995. Haunted. I love this album. It's a great album. People can see what the hell they want about Chris Mars, but this album is, is fantastic. It's got Alan West from um, Obituary on it. Um, uh, Terrence Butler, who's on Death and all kinds of bands. He was in, um, oh, what do you call it? I keep getting the name of the band. It's escaping my mind, but a lot of death metal bands. Really good good stuff. This one, of course, has The Enemy Inside, Silent Violence, Lycanthropy. Great song there. Beneath the Black Side, my favorite song by them. Human Target, Torn to the Bone. Excellent debut from Six Feet Under. Massacre, that's the game. 
that's the name of that term out was up. There you go. Anyway, that's my list for top ten albums for me in nineteen nineties. There's so many others. And I know people are like, Oh, you've got this forget well, I can't put everything on there. It's just the ones that I picked that I like. Put them on the list, the ones you like them in the comments. And there you go. So anyway, that's it. Um hope you liked that video. And uh hope you can just again put us up in the comments and uh if you like to see, please like and subscribe and um, keep rock and metal alive. We'll see you next time.